The following is a paid program with the information provided by the sponsors and host of the show, not by News Talk 720 KDWN. The content does not necessarily reflect the views or opinions of this station, its employees, ownership, or management. Putting my years as a stripper to good use, it's time for the most seductive show on the airwaves. I'm Allie Donovan, and this is Raw Dialogue. Good evening. Good evening. The panel joins us tonight. A little bit later on in the program, next 15, 20 minutes, we're going to have the panel come back in, which is three lovely ladies from your various Las Vegas strip clubs, Kate, Ashley, and Monica tonight, and Monica is filling in for Devin. Um, They'll be here shortly. We'll get started with uh, listener emails and your questions tonight. It's going to be a call-in broadcast predominantly. Uh, any questions you might have for the ladies? Uh, any anybody that didn't send me an email, I didn't get to actually go through all of them. I, di- I didn't take all of them. I, I took about five, um, and I've shortened abri- abridged them a little bit. But if you have any questions or comments, you'll be able to call in in just a moment. And you can always send your emails to askally at rawdialogue.com. That's askally at rawdialogue.com. The website again is www.rawdialogue.com. And with no further ado, what else we'll be looking at tonight? What is sexy? Is sexy strictly physical? Or no matter how attractive someone looks, can they still be unappealing based on the energy they emanate or the words that fall out of their mouths? What is sexy? That's going to be one of the main questions for tonight. And seeing as how I'm a female, I wonder if I'm really qualified to judge what makes a female sexy as opposed to maybe men's opinions out there. So let me go ahead and give out the numbers so you guys can call in at any point in time during the broadcast. The number tonight is 257-KDWN. That's 702-257-5396. That's 702-257-5396. So what is sexy? Here's something that's really interesting. Here's some stats on attractiveness and how we rate attractiveness. This comes from viewzone.com, and this is what makes you attractive. Okay, just a couple summary of facts. Attractive people earn more salary and get more promotions than average-looking people. One main feature that is indicative of healthy genetics is a a symmetrical face. Recognition of beauty fosters better mate selection and healthier breeding. Beautiful people usually associate with other beautiful people. Beautiful people prefer... Beautiful people prefer to date people who are, are a little more attractive than themselves. Beautiful people and less beautiful people judge beauty in the same way, although less beautiful people often consider their other factors as equally important. People consider facial characteristics similar to their parents to be more attractive. Now that is unusual. Who'd have ever thought? I mean, people always say they don't want to end up like their parents, and yet here we are, that that would be an interesting statistic. Another interesting statistic on here is that women find people that, like women were asked to judge who is most attractive when you were looking at pictures of other men. Okay, and the ones that were that women considered most attractive were the ones in which the women in the picture was actually looking at the male. So women actually find people attractive based on what other people think of them, according to these statistics here as well. But something else to consider as far as what makes women attractive, if you look at like throughout history, like recent history, they say, you know, Marilyn Monroe was a size 12. Okay. And the most, and you know, we have dress sizes today that go down to zero. Do men prefer to see women that are stick thin or do they prefer to see them that are a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier? I have a picture posted on the website. It's actually on the homepage. It looks like a picture of Lady Gaga. It's a picture of Lady Gaga and she's actually got cuts on her body. She's completely naked and she has, she has different... Um, magazine articles pasted onto her skin and one of the posts or one of the comments for that was actually that this was a wicked hot picture of Lady Gaga I don't understand why it would be that somebody who's bleeding and looks like she's been whipped would actually be considered wicked hot but I guess to each his own you know you'd have to go on the website and tell me what you think of that I mean do men really think that women who are stick thin are actually very attractive Or do they prefer someone who's a little bit more curvaceous? Something that we find, of course, you know, genetically and biologically speaking, is that men prefer 
you know, women with larger hips, more curves, simply on a biological level, they say. However, you still have very thin, skinny, attractive models that tend to dominate the fashion sector. And they say it tend to manipulate younger females' opinions of their body image. So, what is sexy? This is something that we're going to ask the panel tonight on the other side of this first break. I'm Allie Donovan. You are listening to Raw Dialogue, home of information seduction on News Talk 720 KDWN. More on this on the other side. It's impossible to predict the time when confidence will be lost, but it can come quickly. Resorting to buying other paper currencies will not be of much help. When the dollar crashes, most likely the purchasing power of all currencies, since all currencies hold dollars as a reserve, will go down as well. This means that dollars and other currencies will go into buying consumer items, precious metals, and other physical properties. Consumer prices will soar, as well as interest rates. The central bank will lose control, and the more they inflate, the worse the competence becomes. The interest rates will respond to these efforts by rising sharply. If the Fed tries to reverse the run on the dollar, interest rates will also soar, and the pain on the American citizens will be of such proportion that political chaos will result. This impending crisis comes as a consequence of our flawed foreign and domestic economic policies, a silly notion about money, ignorance about central banking, and ignoring the onerous power and mischief of out-of-control intelligence agencies. Our unsustainable welfare state and a willingness to sacrifice privacy and civil liberties in an attempt to achieve safety and security from an inept government. Who's the father of the Tea Party? It's Ron Paul. I mean, Ron Paul's the guy who's began the conversation about debt, deficit, high taxes, government intrusion. And initially, he was viewed as an extremist, an outsider in terms of the Republican establishment, somebody to be ignored. He's the guy that's from the start raised questions about U.S. involvement overseas in places like Iraq and Afghanistan. Right. He's raised questions about the drug policy. I just heard you talking about that guy getting arrested down in Louisiana and put away for life. He's been saying these things, and the Republican establishment has treated him like he's their loony lo- uncle. Oh. Well, now, all of a sudden, guess what? Ron Paul, not only is he the father of the Tea Party that won the majority of the House for Republicans in the 2010 midterms, But he's the father of so much of the discussion about the budget, about the debt ceiling, about taxes. Right now, this is the age of Ron Paul. Right now, I'd like to introduce Dr. Congressman Ron Paul. Welcome back to the program. I'm Ellie Donovan. This is Raw Dialogue, and we're stimulating your mind in ways you never knew AM radio could. Every Saturday night, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, right here on News Talk 720 KWN. Thank you for joining us tonight. So, with no further ado, let me give out the number again in case you want to call in. I'll have to remember to do this constantly, but 702-257-KDWN. That's 702-257-5396. With no further ado, let me introduce for you the ladies of the panel. We have with us tonight, we have Ashley. Hello. Okay, Kate. Hello. And Monica will be joining us for the first time this week. Hello. Hi, Monica. Okay. So, and these ladies are three lovely ladies from your local Las Vegas strip clubs. They're here tonight to talk about your questions, relationships, what is sexy. All these things are things we're going to talk about with these ladies. I consider them professionals in their own right on these things. So... At any rate, Monica, tell us a little bit about yourself. You weren't here for the first week. Where um, do you work? I work at Little Darlings. Okay. Uh, I've been there for three years, and mm-hmm. I'm actually loving the professional. <laughs> That's the good. The profession. The profession. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then, Kate, you want to say a couple things about yourself to remind everybody? I just work at Little Darlings. I was here last time. And how long have you been a dancer? Gonna nine years, over 90 years now. So. Ashley, a little refresher on you. Um, I've been at Little Darlings for about three years now. I work at Cheetahs, and I work at Hustlers, 
And I'm the one that lied to my boyfriend about being a dancer for a year. That should refresh <laughs> some memory. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So before we get into some of the emails that I have here from listeners, um, let's talk about this concept of what is sexy. Before we talk about what, what makes a woman sexy, I want to know what makes a man attractive. Um, first question I'm going to ask you guys, do you, do you know uh, the, the Ch- Chippendales billboard, right? You know, so those, those guys with the like rock solid hard abs and everything. Yes. Yeah. Do you find that attractive? Ew. Okay, next. Yum. Okay, and? Um, actually pretty good. It's <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Okay, so we have Kate and Monica saying thumbs up, right? Yeah, yes. Uh, definitely. I'm, I'm the same with Ashley. I think that that's really unattractive. Well, I've been to the male strip clubs before, and mm-hmm. I just have to say that is just one of the most disgusting experiences <laughs> I've ever been through. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I've never been there before, but my boyfriend's it's disgusting. pretty rock okay. hard. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm like, very attractive. Okay, uh, but okay, he's, okay. he's confident, not cocky. So I guess <laughs> if you want to look at the billboard and be like, oh, those guys must be cocky. It's the sweat and the oil. Okay, okay, okay. So, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, male strip clubs are not the same as Chippendales, though. It's a show. Yeah. A show. It is More a show because I've actually been to a male strip club. It's totally different. Exactly. Okay, but anyway, Gross. so why? What don't? What don't you find attractive about it, though? I mean, because it's not like I don't. I mean, it's not like you know I like fat guys or you know unattractive like unhealthy people. It's, okay. It's just I don't need all that that muscle. It's it's excessive. You know, it just tone is nice. You know, comes with confidence or this, cockiness. This is what was unattractive about it. That my first night there, not even within ten minutes. One of the male dancers came over to me, <laughs> bent me over okay, the chair. Okay, nothing too vulgar, okay? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 this okay. is okay. It's, I'm keeping it radio edit. He bent me over the chair and just started, <sighs> Okay. you know, trying to give me some love from behind. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and he was oily and he was sweaty okay, okay. and it was gross. Here's the really interesting concept about that is that this is what's really ironic, I think, that um, men go into strip clubs and if women understood what men wanted out, out of, you know, a strip club, like, you know, when we go into these male environments where, you know, you have male strippers or male entertainers, they tend to entertain you how they think that they would want to be entertained. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. They're very physical, you know, and, and they're very just, you know, not, not as much talk, you know, it's like, why do we got to talk? You don't have to talk to you. Not that you have to talk to people, but I'm just saying they're just very totally different mentality than when women go into strip clubs, you know, as, as, as an entertainers, you know, it takes us, I think forever to understand how simple men can be in that regard. Agree? Disagree? Anybody? Monica, any thoughts? No, no, I agree. <laughs> uh, no, I agree. Definitely. Men are not simple. No, they're not <laughs> simple they're different. at all, but yes, they are. But at the same time, you got to understand what they're coming from. Oh, Okay. So anyway, back to the question. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get off topic here. What, so what is sexy though in a man? You, you had Kate mentioned, um, confident, not cocky Mm -hmm. was an important quality. Um, would you say that, that you could pick out men that are physically, I mean, is it a physical thing when you're looking at what's, what's sexy as far as men go? Physical, I'd say. You have to have physical. You have to, to even get the conversation started. Just but, no sweat and no oil, please. Okay, please. Ashley. <laughs> please. Monica. <laughs> after, please don't. after that, you really, you have to be able to communicate. You have to really, you know, get to know somebody. But if you're not attracted to them physically, it's going nowhere. Yes, but would you, when you say physical, here's what I want to understand is, I mean, look, some if you, people like blue hair or sorry, blue eyes, blonde mm-hmm. hair. Some people like dark hair, blue eye. You know, you all have your different right. things. But do you think that that the stereotypical there's no stereotype? Exactly. Okay. Everybody has their own thing that they're attracted to. OK. At the end so, of the day. OK, I got gotcha. you. But if you're not attracted initially, nothing's ever going to go from there. Well, that's that's a given, I think. Uh, Monica, do you want to add your two cents on this? I'm sorry. You're on the other side of the microphone. I can hardly see you. Oh, okay. No, I really don't, actually, because I uh, agree with you, okay? I really yeah. do, because it, it, that's how it is. Um, you like what you like, and you don't like what you don't like. Um, you know? Monica, are you in a relationship? No, I'm not. Actually, uh, I was. I'm not no more. And I'm happily being single. <laughs> <laughs> with me. <laughs> okay, okay. So... Um, what would you say that you will look for? Like, what what are you attracted to in a man, Monica? What am I attracted to? On <laughs> okay. honestly, on, honestly, really, like it all depends about kindness. You know, somebody that's gonna understand where I'm coming from. You know, 